After confessing that the NSW father, who allegedly shot 15-year-old son while sitting in his bed, was prone to suicide and struggling with mental health, firearms were suspended and weapons were confiscated. On Thursday, police found bodies of 58-year-old Wayne Smith and his son Noah in adolescence at Yamba houses on northern rivers of NSW. The police believe that Mr. Smith had committed suicide after killing his son. On Wednesday, the Daily Telegraph announced in August 2021 that Mr. Smith's license was suspended and three firearms were confiscated by the police, however, in December. After passing an independent medical and risk assessment, the driver's license was returned. Speaking about 2 gigabytes, NSW Police Minister Yasmin Katlay confirmed that Mr. Smith's license was suspended and re-given. Police found the bodies of Wayne Smith and his son Noah in a suspicious inspiration on Thursday. He said that he would now depend on a Crown investigation to illuminate and recommend ways to improve the undergraduate process. It is hard to predict how my mental health is between December and now, Catley said for Mr. Smith. There is a very solid process in obtaining a registry of firearms and feverish weapons, and this process was taken. Mr. Smith's license was suspended and then returned, pictures NCA Newswire Natalie Grono to be fair, people get rid of mental health period, and therefore the process offers opportunity to make an assessment by an independent medical officer, he said. Mrs. Catlay acknowledged that there was place for improvement. Police Minister Yasmin Catlay defended the process of firearms as meticulous. This process was shocking and resulted in a very tragic series the death of a beautiful young child, he said. But still, process of firearms and the process of licensing is very meticulous and therefore, according to what forensic medical official told us, it depends on us. These recommendations, especially if we improve mental health, we will definitely do this, 